Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Thinman and today you are tuned in for a really fun video. Lisa Eldridge just came out with her holiday kits a few weeks ago and when I looked for my skin tone I saw that I already had all the products. So we are recreating or we are creating a look based on her holiday kit that is out for the glow look. I've already washed my face and done my skincare, so let's get started with the tutorial. I'm going to neutralize the face, starting with the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light to Medium Bisque, just using my ring finger really, really gently, getting rid of any blue or purple underneath the eye. Bisque is so great because it has a little bit of pink, but it also has a little touch of peach, so it really goes after all the colors underneath your eye. If you are a medium skin tone or a darker skin tone, you might want to consider going more of the peach than the bisque because your coloration is going to be a little bit different from someone who is fair, fair skinned. Then we're going to neutralize the eyelids using the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Again, using my ring fingers. Now this one is super, super silicone-y, so you want to make sure that you don't end up with a glob anywhere. You want to make sure that it's nice and smooth all over the eyelid, all the way up to the brow. I'm not putting it into the brow hairs, I'm just taking it up to where the brow hairs begin. And same thing with the lashes. I'm not massaging it into the lashes, I'm just working it right into that lash line because I know I'm going to be putting on a liner with this look and I want to make sure that everything stays really really nicely and also it's really nice to start your makeup with a neutralized face so if you have anywhere else that you want to neutralize now is the time to do it. I'm going to keep going with the eyes with my Victoria Beckham Kajal liner. It is getting so teeny tiny but I have another one. And then after, after I work through that one, I'm going to get Lisa's and I'll report back to you on how I think the two compare. Making sure that our lash line looks a little bit thicker, a little bit more youthful, especially for a look like this where it is very everyday, like nothing's really popping. It's very kind of neutral, almost like a monochromatic makeup look, but one that you can really turn into a party look later if you need to. Or you can just keep it very simple for every day. It just kind of brightens up the complexion. And because we are going in with a liquid eyeshadow, we can go ahead and do the rest of our complexion really quickly. Now, I did a little bit on my nose, and I did a little bit on my chin, just because I'm having a little extra redness there right now. So I think it's just the changing of the seasons and... Sometimes you just need a little extra coverage, but I'm not doing a ton right there because I don't want to clog up that area. And it's always a good idea to do light layers. Just like do a ton of light layers if you need to. Don't just glop your makeup on. If you're trying to cover a pimple or any discoloration, light layers. I'm going to go in with Lisa's foundation in number 9. Just going to do a few dots. I'm going to start bouncing my brush and blending out the edges with my 55. Now the great thing about this makeup look is that it can be easily morphed into more of a party look. In fact, before I saw Lisa's video talking about her holiday kits and then I checked it out, of course, to see what was in there and found that I already had the glow kit for my skin tone. I had been wearing this look like kind of nonstop for the last few weeks already so I'm thrilled that it kind of got put into a kit because it is a really great just get it on and go kind of a makeup look. It's also been really great as I've started to play with my more holiday inspired lip looks. And also just, it just goes with everything. It goes with everything that you're wearing. It goes, again, with pretty much any lip look. The only thing you might need to do is add a little bit of extra eyeshadow. But this is just such an easy, easy way to look put together. 
and I have a little bit of a glow because again we all kind of dry out just a little bit as the weather gets colder. I'm going to give my face a little bit of a break and I'm going to do my brows and I'm just I'm going to go in the same direction as my brow hair just little dashes filling in any gaps that I'm seeing and for me that definitely means towards the front and kind of the middle back. Don't feel like you have to fill in your full brow if you don't need to. This also gives, again, my skin a little bit of time to continue soaking up my skincare that I just put on and also for everything to kind of shift around as I'm kind of talking through this tutorial. So sometimes it's sometimes it's a good idea to just jump around. I am having a little bit of a day with my under eyes, so I'm going to wait to set and see if I need a little bit more. Because sometimes, again, when you go with a monochromatic look, you need to make sure that you're nice and bright underneath the eyes. So I have a little bit of extra foundation left on my hand, but I don't feel like I need it because it matches my skin tone so, so well. So I'm just going to wipe that off, and then we are going to go in with the liquid Lorex, and this is in Cressida. Now, Lisa Eldridge has obviously all skin tones covered. It's not just my skin tone. So make sure that you are looking at where your foundation fits. She did it by foundation number. So I, I have the Cressida and Kitten Mischief kit. And I'm going to take this just a little bit above the crease because I've already neutralized my eyelid. I don't have to worry about any blue or purple veins kind of popping through. So we've done our prep work and now we can really go for it with the makeup. And I'm just placing that on the lid. The thing I really like about liquid eyeshadows, not only are they super super easy to use, but they don't, it feels like you're not tugging at your skin as much so sometimes it's a really nice Way to just take a break from your brushes and do a liquid eyeshadow for a little while and just kind of give your skin up there a little bit of a break. Now let's add the glow into our cheek area. We're going to let that set for just a moment because liquid eyeshadows do need to set for a little bit before you start kind of playing with extra shadows. So again, we're just kind of jumping around a little bit, but there is a reason <laughs> we're giving everything time to just kind of sit and you know I'm looking down at my makeup towel that I have down here and I've only used one no I've used two brushes so far so it's a lot of hands which is awesome you can absolutely take your foundation brush and just make sure that that is nice and melted in with everything if you're feeling like um Went a little too heavy on the glow this morning, which happens to everyone. Now we are ready to go back into the eyes and then we can finish with the face. So I know I'm going to be using bronzer, so I'm going to grab a little bit of my Natasha Denona bronzer and put that into my crease with my 201 from BK Beauty because I want a nice and cohesive face. And you don't have to do this if you just want to put on an eyeshadow and then be done. That's awesome. This is going to be so great for you. For me, because I have so much space between my lash line and my brow, I just need a little hint of something in the crease. Otherwise, I kind of flatten out a little bit. And for me, it feels like I can look a little tired. But just adding in that little bit of dimension with my bronzer which I was going to put on anyways, just gives a little bit more life, a little bit more dimension to the face. Now I'm going to go in with the lips because I want to make sure that everything is nice and balanced. So Kitten Mischief, it's like the perfect nude for my skin tone. And then we're going in with Dancing Rose, which 
has become my go-to lip gloss at night and honestly during the day too. The only time this gets a little tricky is if you're using a more saturated lip color like ribbon or any of her velvet colors. You definitely want to make sure you either put it on your finger, put it on a brush before you put that on because otherwise this is going to become a mess of colors in your bottle. But Kitten Mischief is, you know, not super tinted, but you can see that the wand gets a little bit, you know, kitten mischief. So you can always just kind of like wipe that off really, really gently to make sure that you're not disturbing the awesomeness that is Dancing Rose. And it just adds a little something, but it's not taking away from the lipstick that's underneath. I can definitely tell I need a little bit more concealer. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna finish up with everything else. I've been doing lots and lots of filming, trying to get ahead a little bit before holiday season does fully kick in. And I'm sure you are feeling it too. It feels like everyone's holiday this year is just really slam packed. So I just want to make sure that I can take a breath during holiday and really enjoy family and friends. I think that's as good as it's going to get today and that's totally fine. I'm going to take my finger, make sure I pick up any excess that's going on. I'm just really, really lightly tapping the skin. I'm going to go in with another BK Beauty 110 into my hourglass powder and I'm just going to set that. Now this one is technically a concealer brush but it doesn't matter because it is synthetic. So you can use it for whatever you want. You can use it for liquids, creams, powders, anything that makes your life a little bit easier. And because, again, because it's getting into that winter weather, I need to make sure that I'm not powdering everywhere. I'm just powdering through the center of my face. It's my cheeks, my cheeks really, for me, tend to get quite dry. So if I really feel like I need to, I can switch over to a fluffier brush, which will disperse the powder a little bit more. Because sometimes, you know, powder clings to powder. So sometimes when you're going in with a blush and you don't have a powder on there, it can get a little choppy. It can get a little goofy. You can always do a bigger brush for a sheer wash of powder and then a more concentrated brush underneath your eye and through the center of the face for a more concentrated amount of powder. I'm gonna grab my bronzer brush and I'm gonna go back into my bronzer and do my face. <laughs> so just a quick underneath that cheekbone and I'm just doing really, really slim ovals just to give my face a little bit of dimension. Again, because we are doing kind of a, a monochromatic look that doesn't have a lot of color. It, we're just enhancing what we naturally have. It's nice to give the face a little bit of dimension. And my shirt actually comes down quite low. So I'm going to bring my bronzer down to make sure that everything looks nice and cohesive and not shockingly white or fair. So now we get to decide if we want to go in with a little bit more eyeshadow or if this is good. Because this is basically the kit that you get with a lot of the color elements, we're going to stop here, but I am going to add a liner. So I'm going to do my trick of using a liquid and also using a gel because we need the longevity and you just never know what's going to happen during holiday season, right? Maybe you're going to work and then afterwards you have to pick up the kids and do a million other things. Maybe, I mean, who knows? Who knows? But you always want to be ready. So around this time, I like to just extend my lash line just a little bit. It doesn't need to be showy. Just really, really little dashes. Now the Victoria Beckham did a lot of that work for me. So I'm just kind of laying that right on top of that lash line and it doesn't disturb the gorgeousness of Cressida on my lid. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just extending my lash line all the way to the break of where it ends. I'm gonna give myself a little kitten wing. And then I'm just really, really lightly going to tap because I do want all that 
that shine from Cressida to continue to be seen. Sometimes we can go a little bit overboard with our liner and then we kind of lose a lot of the work that we did. Plus I find if you go with a really thin line, it does really open up the eyes. So if you're feeling really tired, go thinner on your line, don't go thicker. Going in with chocolate shimmer, just kind of tapping that on the top half of that line because I want it to be just a little bit softer, a little bit less graphic. And I think this trick really works nicely for bringing a black liquid liner into daytime. We're gonna go in with a little extra primer for our lashes, just to really amp up that lash line, getting right into the roots, making sure that our lashes are actually changing color if they're not changing color, you're not getting enough product on the lashes. Going in with Smoky Eye Mascara from Bobbi Brown, the perfect party mascara, or just every day too. Again, going right into the roots, really massaging and wiggling that wand up, making sure we're covering everything that we put down with the Dior Primer. And it's going to feel like you almost put on a set of falsies. It just makes a huge, huge difference. So if you feel like you have a long day ahead of you or you're doing something really basic like this, it's nice to give a little bit of extra black against that lash line because it just creates this really beautiful contrast between the whites of your eyes and your lash line. And that is the finished tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this easy everyday holiday makeup tutorial. I was so excited again when I saw that Lisa had created kits for every skin tone and that I already had the kit. <laughs> I'd already purchased it. So I thought it would be a really fun way to showcase that kit for you because these products are incredible. And this look is so easy and great for every day. And again, you can always go in with a bolder lip and just really change it up into that holiday feel for after work or if you're just feeling a little bit fancier that day. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday. Make sure you are checking out the shorts and Instagram. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye!